This is Craig with Carshalton Advisory. This is part two of our work through of the practice tasks for section 2.1 of the Excel 2016 core Excel study guide. Let's get started. We need to move from the sheet two where we last transposed our copied values down onto the price list tab. Now we can do that with our mouse by clicking on the price list tab or if we want to use our keyboard we can just hit control page down and it moves us to the next sheet to the right in the, the list at the bottom here of all the tabs in our workbook. Now that we're on here, we want to use the fill handle and we're going to fill cells A2 to A21 with items 1, 2, 3, so forth through to item 21. Now Excel is smart enough to recognize that, all right, we have uh, a number here and if I drag this down, Excel is going to assume that we want that number to increase. So let's check that out. All right, as I drag it down, you can see right next to my cursor, my mouse, uh, it's going to tell me what it plans on pasting in. So if that isn't what I want to see, uh, I would uh, undo and, uh, and uh, try something different. In this case, I want to go all the way down to A21 on the left-hand side. And when I do that, it's telling me that it's going to be listed all the way to item 20. So when I let go, those are all filled in there for me now. Uh, quick and easy, and it didn't take me a whole lot of time to take care of. Next, they want us to fill cells B2 through B21 with 10, 20, 30, and so on. So I'm going to do the same thing here. However, when I start dragging down, you'll notice that that number doesn't change. So if I let go, it's going to copy 10 all the way down. Excel is a little bit confused. Uh, it wasn't quite sure what to do. It, it assumed from 1 to go up to 2, but it doesn't think the same way when we go from 10 onwards. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give it a little bit of help. I'm going to click in the next cell and I'm going to type what I want to see. Now Excel is going to be bright enough here that now if I fill down, oops, it's going to drag all the rest of the numbers for us down there. Now I'm going to try one more thing here for us. I'm going to try what's called a flash fill. And so to do that, all that I did is I selected my 20 and I hit Control E. When I do that, Excel takes a look and it, it spots a pattern and it's going to complete that pattern all the way down to the end of the array. So notice that it stops when I hit control E here where item 20 was. It doesn't go anywhere past that. Next, we want to go into our next column and this time we want to do another uh, series, but this is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be in reverse. Uh, so let's uh, see what we can do here. I'm going to drag this one down and see what happens. So it's kept it at three. It hasn't changed it. Uh, one of the reasons I did drag it down, though, is because it's going to keep our formatting the same. Had I just typed in the next number, it may not have done that. So let's go with our next value of 295. And let's try a flash fill and see if that works. Control E. And it looks and it you know what? A flash fill doesn't solve that for us. So now let's highlight both of these cells. Let's say Excel. This is the pattern that we want is what we're telling it. Now when I drag down, all of these values are automatically going to come down for me uh, without any difficulty. Lastly, we want to copy the background and the font formatting from cell A1 to cells A2 through 21. And then we're going to delete the content of cell A1. All right, so uh, let's use our paintbrush. So this is, uh, a, again, a feature I use quite a bit. Um, if, if I have a particular format that I like and that I want to use more of, all I need to do, rather than trying to remember exactly what those settings were, I can go on my home tab with the cell that I'm interested in. So in this case, this A1 cell is what I'm interested in. I'm going to select this paintbrush right in the clipboard section. They call it a format painter. So I'm going to click it. Okay, and once I've done that, my icon now has a little paintbrush next to it. The source value, this A1, has that flashing green dashed box around it. And now I'm going to click and drag all of the cells that I want painted to look the same way. So when I let go, it hasn't changed any of the values, but it has changed how they look. So lastly, we need to delete that cell A1. And that wraps up our last step here for objective 
So I hope you're finding this a little bit more fun than maybe the first uh, set of videos in, in the objectives one through one through one five. Uh, and I'm looking forward to working with you through the rest of section two here. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to click to subscribe so you know when the next video gets posted. Thanks for watching. This is Craig with Carshalton Advisory.